there's no one way to be trans, there's no one way to transition. And just as there are many different operations, there are many different ways to transition. Some people that could be as simple as changing your name, your, your gender pronoun, dressing differently, wearing your hair differently. There's the entire spectrum of hormonal treatment. If you are um, transitioning male to female, that usually involves taking estrogen. And for female to male patients, that will involve taking testosterone. Just the hormones alone can cause very dramatic changes in your body. When I started taking estrogen, I was so excited and so happy. I was like, I'm finally going to start getting boobs and curves and all of that. So it was so monumental for me. I feel so much more myself and comfortable and it's helped me like emotionally feel more connected with myself. So we follow the recommendations of the organization called WPATH, which provides guidelines for who can have surgery. And one of the requirements for bottom surgery, genital affirmation surgery, is that the patients be on hormone therapy for uh, a year or two prior to having surgery. The process for me, even starting hormone therapy, is I had to be going to a therapist for years before. So I have records and data to back up my transition and that I actually have been diagnosed with gender dysphoria. So it's really important to make sure that I want to be taking the medication. Going to therapy growing up has been really beneficial and helpful for me and my well-being just because I can have someone to talk to about what I'm going through and someone that can help and I think that's really important and something that everyone needs. I had a lot more mood swings. I would have hot flashes from the estrogen and Overall, I was a lot more emotional, and it took a little bit for that to even out and for me to get used to it. That was all completely normal, and my doctor said that that was okay. I've been taking estrogen since I was 13, so six years now, and I'm supposed to take it for the rest of my life. Personally, I have had no issues um, or complications besides just like mood swings and hot flashes, and I think every it's like totally worth it. Like the way that I feel now outweighs all of that completely.